Hello everyone. Welcome to Exploring Foods with Smitty. And I tell you, it is hotter than fish grease out here. I believe the temperature right now, hold on, let me ask. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 73 degrees. Did you hear that? 96 degrees, which is very hot. And it's not that I haven't felt it before, but I haven't felt it with humidity. That's a whole different ball game. So because it's been so hot, we're having foods that you don't have to be in the kitchen long cooking. So today we're doing hamburgers and french fries. And I just finished cutting up my potatoes and I'm getting ready to make my burgers. So when I come back, we'll be making burgers and frying fries. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut my cheese because we're going to put cheese in our hamburger. Not on top, but inside. So I'm gonna cut, eh, I would say about four pieces would be good. Just give it a cut this way. Or else you can use other cheese, like shredded cheese and stuff like that. But I like the way this will melt inside of your burger. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm try the cheese is hard. And it's very good cheese, I might say. All right, so this is my burger. Just regular ground beef. And what I'm adding to it. Now, my mom used to do this to her burgers when we were making burgers. She'd add Humble up crackers. We never use bird crumbs. So I'm just using crumbled up crackers. And you can put anything you want to in it, like as far as vegetable wise, you can add um, onions to it if you'd like. And then we'd use an egg. So this is all like a binder. Okay, and to that, I'm gonna add some onion powder, Watkins onion powder. Just keep in mind, all of my spices are salt free. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And then this is giving your burger kick. And then to that, I'm gonna sprinkle in some liquid smoke it gives your ground beef a smoky taste flavor and liquid smoke is not just for barbecuing you can use it in a lot of things and then i'm going to put some you know why so let's sprinkle some of that in okay now to this i'm going to add some of my salt blend which is a blend of different salt. I don't want to put too much, but like I said, all of my seasonings are salt free. And I'm gonna add some pepper, round black pepper. And then what I'm gonna do is get in here and mix this up so that it all comes together. I'm telling you, if you wanted to add green onions or whatever you want to add to your burger, you could. Okay. So now that we've got this all mixed up, I'm going to take this and make this into a burger patty. And I'm okay, so now that I've got my hamburger all mixed together and then I have this little pot um, patty right here, what I'm going to do is put my cheese into my burger like so and then i'm going to put a top on it to make sure that it's in there and that when i fry it it's going to come out all nice and fried and cheese melted and all that other good stuff 
Okay, so that's one patty down. And now all I gotta do is do another one. So put it in half. That's a big patty too. But then you know how ground beef shrinks. So I'm gonna put cheese into this patty, like so. And I'm gonna put the top on it and just make a nice little patty, like so. So when I come back, we're gonna be frying up french fries and making burgers. Okay. You see if it's ready. Yep. I'm gonna drop my fries in. Nothing like homemade french fries. I'm gonna spread them out. So they can fry up real nice and crispy. And what I'm gonna do is get these fries cooked. And when I come back, we're gonna be cooking our burgers. Okay, so I am on my last batch of fries. And they are going pretty good. So I'm gonna be taking these out pretty soon. And then I also have my hamburger buns that are roasting. You can't have hamburger bun on a cold bread. You gotta have it roasted. Because they're good. And let's take our fries out of here. Get them out of the grease. And they are nice and golden brown. I'll tell you, nothing like homemade french fries. There's just a difference. And you know what? After you get your fries out, even though you seasoned them, you always may want to hit them with a little salt. So my fries are ready. Now let's get on our burgers. Grease. So my burgers have been sitting at room temperature. Let's get them in. And we're just gonna cook these until they're done. I like my ground beef well done. My husband likes his um, medium well. So we're gonna get these cooked and we'll be back. Okay, so let's get started assembling our hamburgers. I have my buns toasted which I toasted them on top of the stove with butter. And then I like my hamburgers. The good thing about home burgers, as Eddie Mo Murphy called it, you can do it the way you want to do it. Even though McDonald's say they have, you can have it your way, you really can't. So anyway, I like mayonnaise on mine. So I put a little mayonnaise on both of the buns. A lot of people don't like mayonnaise and if that's your choice, you don't have to have it. So, put a little mayonnaise. And then to that, I'm going to add some uh, German mustard. Let's get a little squeeze of that on. Mm. And it's very good too. A little bit of German mustard here, a little bit of German mustard there. And to this burger, I'm going to add some Thousand Island dressing. I like a lot of things on my burger because that just makes it taste so much better. So let's put a little bit of that on. And you know what? Try fixing your burger with the toppings you want. That's the one thing. You can make your burger the way you want it. Like I said, my husband doesn't like all this stuff on his burger, so he gets to fish his own burger. Now, these are my toppings that I'm putting on. Lettuce, tomato, onion. I'm going to use some jalapenos and I'm also going to use some guacamole because that's the way I like my burger. So, okay, so my burger is definitely ready and as you can see the cheese oozing out of it. So, what I'm going to add to that is onion and you know it's weird because I don't like cooked onions on my hamburger so I'm going to put some onions there. Sprinkle on a little let, let, lettuce, as the kids call it. Some tomato. 
And I'm gonna top that with, eh, I think I'll put my avocado on first. So just add a little avocado, and this is freshly made avocado. You can still see the chunks in it. Add a little avocado on there. Mm, delicious. And then for the heat, we gotta bring the heat. I'm gonna add a couple of jalapenos. Can't get enough heat for me. Let's put our jalapenos on there, like so. Isn't that beautiful? And then maybe I could flip this over, or maybe not. Let's just take my burger off of here and put it on here. Let's put a top on and let's smash it down. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'm gonna do is transfer this over to my plate. This is your home burger and fries. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -mm -mm. Let's put the top on because he keeps wanting to slip off. Home burger and fries. So like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for Exploring Foods with Smitty. And the heat is going to get worse. So tomorrow, we're going to be having another type of dish. So share with your friends, and I'm going to get me some burger. Make sure you try this recipe. This was one of the best burgers I have had. It was juicy and delicious. Make sure you check out some of these other recipes on Exploring Foods with Smitty.